So guys, welcome to this vlog. Now today is a very fun day. Today is actually my coffee networking meetup. Now basically how this came about was one of my friends, Ollie, who's also a digital marketer, he put it on his Instagram like five, six days ago, like guys, I'll be in South Kensington this weekend. It'd be cool just to do a little like meetup, a little gathering. So I sent him a DM back saying, dude, I'll be there. How many people will we talking? So he said, you know, maybe three, four. And in my head, I'm like, wait, no, fuck that. Like, why don't we make it a real thing? So I got my graphic designer to whip up a bit of marketing material. I put it out on my Instagram. I even made like little click funnels, like opt-in page and an autoresponder so people could get their free e-ticket. And I'll be honest, I was thinking maybe like nine, 10 people would sign up. I checked back like 48 hours later and there's 30 people who have signed up to the event. Now the problem was, it wasn't really an event in my head. So now I'm so now I'm frantically on the phone trying to call places to find somewhere that will accommodate 30 people on a Saturday. Luckily I found one, so uh, yeah, I am just packing up a bit of stuff for my videographer, just so he can document the whole thing. I'm super excited, so let's see how this goes. So guys, we're here at the event. It's kicked off around like 20, 25 minutes ago. Uh, we got some people over there. Um, just doing a bit of like one-to-one -one little like coaching, a little insight as to what I've been doing with my Facebook ads, but um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with the turnout so far. I just seen her for the last time because she was moving back there. So, so you know, I came to London, I was a fucking mess, right? Going through my first ever like proper breakup, like I couldn't even get out of bed, like I just I had no motivation. So like, what did I do? I put on a fucking like Tony Robbins goal setting audiobook. I listened to it, I go to the park and I set some goals for the next year. And these were, these were my goals. Talgus, like invest 1,000 pounds in whatever you wish. Th that was my goal for a year, yeah. right? Three months later, I met, I met Tony Rawls. Set it August 2016, and then a year later, my mom and I in Paris. Wow, nice, nice. So I mean, my, my point with all of this is like, corporate world is fun, but corporate world is, I'm just gonna help people make more money who already have a lot of money, which is fun, it's cool to see. But like when you got a fucking like student who's like, just trying to take care of his fucking family, yeah, yeah, yeah. and you can and, and you can help him, and you can give him that opportunity to do so. Like, to me, that's more fulfilling than like the sort of B two B side of uh, social media marketing of my marketing agency. Like, I hate having to deal with clients, but that's one of the reasons I do it because like I think it's going to be so important for me further down the line to be able to understand customer relations, which is why I do it even though I fucking hate it. A million people reach, 3,000 clicks, uh, 22,000 people on the mailing list. Uh, that's what the that's what my conversion pixel was for. Digital marketing, anything to do with that Ty Lopez, Grant Cardone, as long as they're interested, I don't care where in the world they live. You need to understand that you need to understand that a Facebook ad it is compiled of two variables. Number one, bid. So you, you, have, you have to remember that you, we, when you're running an ad, you're actually bidding against like 4,000 other marketers trying to win the same ad space. Say cost per click or cost per conversion, it's made up of you know, how much are you bidding for the ad space itself and then what's the conversion rate or the click-through rate, I mean. So what percentage of those people are actually clicking through to the ad? So say, say you and I both win an ad space at one pence, right? And we both run 100 ads except only one person clicks on your ad because it has a shit call to action, shit a bait, but 100 people click on mine. I've paid 1p for a click, you've paid one pound, right? So number one, your job as a, as a Facebook advertiser really is to make sure that your bait, your offer is amazing so that your click-through uh, click rate is higher. But before that, decide are you going for specialized leads or are you going for volume? So I mean, one of the reasons I'm getting all of this traffic for so cheap is because I'm looking where no one else is looking. So look, if we go look into the targeting right here, they call it the domino. What's the one big domino that you can get people to believe? So as I said, a lot of the problem with ads is that, uh, or ads that people run is that uh, they try and make them believe like, we'll solve this for you, solve this for you, solve that. You have one second. You need to make people believe one thing. How can I go? You say it's hard to grow a subscriber base at the moment. Like no, really hard no, no. Once I learned the concept of paid traffic, growing in general is is not a concern yeah. for me anymore. Without without like putting in ads, though, is it? Is it oh, without hard? putting in ads, you have to be very clever uh, with your keywording. Yeah. Yeah, I'm doing a, a free giveaway, um, or like say I'm doing a coffee meet. Um, coffee. 
needs this uh, Sunday, right? And then instead of that, you can add a second variation. So um, you got a ver two variations in the headline there, and then you know you can um, you can add variation in. Um, even in the photos, right? Yeah, exactly. So that, this allows me to run a bunch of split tests at one time at one place rather than duplicate, duplicate, duplicate. Plus, I, I don't know, I like the like visual side of things. Like, I think it looks a lot better than um, Facebook. Yeah, yeah it's, it's, very, it's very nice. It's cool to see like the click-through rates. It breaks down per person, stuff like that. Um, a, ne a network is your net worth. Like, it's so cliche, but it's kind of true. Uh, dude, some of the commissions you can get from like referring people, uh, but then my main main source of income is my marketing agency. Um, yeah, it's my marketing agency, and then I've very recently started getting into coaching, actually monetizing my personal brand. Because um, I used to do consult, or I still do consulting and coaching for for companies, train their sales team, train their marketing team, help bridge the gap between their traditional marketing methods and their digital marketing. So basically, you give the first thing, and then you do the upsell for the whole package. Yeah, and what what the key is in the personal brand playbook is I say, guys, so this is the first product in a series, right? And this is the, the your first stage in a in a much larger journey, right? So so you're uh, you're you're pre-framing the later sales, right? And what you're saying is like the one domino. Like I, basically, what I'm saying in their head is like, if you want to do this, because. When you're reading my book, like you've got blinders on, you're just listening to what I'm saying, you're not looking at what else is out there. When you're reading my book and I'm saying this is the first product in a, lar in a lar much larger series, in your head it's like, if I want to achieve this goal, which is build a personal brand, make a living off it, th this is the only way. Like this is the one domino, like you, I have to follow this funnel, otherwise I'm not gonna get it. I, like I have this limiting belief. I've thought of a, I've thought of the story a month behind to destroy it. So what I would say is like, dude, like, I don't know, when you're, when you're traveling somewhere, where you're, when you're in the gym or something, like, think about like, what is an objection someone will have and how can I have a story to destroy that limiting belief. So guys, I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Now it has taken me way, way too long to actually get together. I think the event was like 12 days ago at this point. I'm actually in Marbella right now. Bob is somewhere around here uh so we're just um yeah we're chilling at the apartment we've got this place for like the next week or so pretty nice um pretty cool spot uh so that's like the outside area all of that just a really nice area in general i mean you can see out there uh i said this is the crib uh all through here bedrooms bedrooms Etc. Etc. So, as I said, this event was just so fucking cool to me. It was so cool to meet all of you guys. Um, it just kind of shows me that this whole social media thing, like there's actually someone on the other side of all of the stuff that I'm putting out. But if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. If you could also just kind of give me some ideas as to what I should start uploading, like what sort of stuff would you guys like to see? Because yeah, just in general, it's been like really hard to keep the YouTube going um, because obviously work business is like really picking up. So leave a couple ideas below and I'm actually gonna bother to plan out this next month's content. So um, yeah, leave a like. Oh yeah, last thing, speaking about personal brands, um, if you guys haven't already, I just put out the personal brand playbook, which basically it's like the fundamentals, it's the basics, it's everything you need to understand before you actually grow your personal brand to 10K, 25K, 50K, and then apart from that, actually make five to 10K a month from your personal brand. So I mean, obviously, hopefully this video was a testament to the fact that I've done pretty well with my personal brand, like there was 25 to 30, I, I don't know exact number. There's uh, 40 people who actually signed up for the event, 25 to 30 actually showed up, um, which was just so fucking cool for me. So yeah, if you wanna get that, the link is gonna be in the description, and I will catch you guys next time.